Hey, it's BGV, and welcome to another Shadow of the Earth Tree boss guide for Elden Ring. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've already done the bulk of this DLC. There's probably just a bunch of little dudes in caves and catacombs left. But uh, we have one major remembrance left, and that is Midra, or Midra, which I thought was going to be like a witch this whole time. Um, very pleasantly surprised to see that he is way cooler than just some witch. Uh, he is a, yeah, frenzied flame uh, egg, uh, enemy, which uh, is very cool because this character, Immolatus, started out as fire-themed. So I might end there with his weapon, which apparently is, you know, at least interesting um, uh, as, a, as a remembrance thing. Uh, but yeah, here's my stats, and then here's my equipment. Uh, this is after beating the final boss. This is kind of, like I said, our last remembrance, so... You know, he's, he's pretty easy to bully uh, at this point, but if you are coming to him earlier, he's probably going to be somewhat of a challenge. But uh, yeah, this guy seems extremely weak to aggression. Like, if you're just really aggressive and stagger him, he seems like you can kind of beat him up a bit. Um, but yeah, we're going to show you how to beat him and what he does and all of those things. If you're finding these guides helpful and would like to support, you can do so by interacting with the video, checking out the Patreon, checking out the Twitch and I'll see you now again. I keep feeling like I'm doing the outro. I'll see you right now for uh, this boss. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Midra or Midra. Uh, he is going to try to jump at you in this phase, and if he grabs you, he will deal like madness or something, obviously. Just go in on him like that, and that is the boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, very mechanically intensive. Just kidding, of course. All right, so we got, we're going to run at him immediately and try to stick mainly to his sides and his back because he'll do a lot of forward flame stuff. Obviously, if you have any madness protection or boluses, whatever, you know, you can use them during this fight. I'm just going to be aggressive as hell, try to stagger him, do big damage. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to lock on and immediately start running towards him here. He's going to clip me, unfortunately, twice, but now he's going to chill. Okay, he does a lot of uh, little swings. Kind of one, two, three. You can see the the roll timing is pretty darn um, nice to you. You know what I mean? You can see uh, we're able to avoid him quite a lot. He, yeah, th this guy is unfortunately a bit bullyable. All right, so he's going to try to do a little swing. He's going to roll at you, and he's going to do three swings. So he kind of does two, and then he, uh, you know, kind of moves towards you and does another three. All right, so let's heal here. And ideally, we get a stagger on him, but he's gonna keeping he's gonna try to be keeping us at bay with his various flame attacks. He likes to do flame on. But I'm gonna do a jumping hit there. Watch his swings, roll the timings, just like that. And if I can get another jumping attack, uh, hopefully we'll get the stagger. Also, he'll do two little dagger hits as well, and he is not gonna stagger. So when he does this, immediately run away and jump uh, because that orb will sort of follow you and now we're going to be in phase two run out the laser easy peasy hit him there okay he's going to do a whole bunch of like fire swings so you want to roll behind him and he won't be able to hit you with the uh fire that he uh you know extends out of his sword oof rolled right into that one if he does hit you with the pierce he'll usually follow it up with that extendo attack Okay, we get the stagger. We're gonna walk up, hit him here. It's gonna deal huge damage to Midra, Lord of the Frenzied Flame. And unfortunately, as you can see here, oh, I'm gonna hit by that orb. Ooh, we rolled it last second. Very nice. Yeah, so we'll also send out his uh, orb and explode if you're near it. So roll into him here, so you don't get hit by the fire on the floor. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, a little bit of a messy fight than I would like. Roll. Gonna do a jumping attack here. Down goes Midra, Lord of Frenzied Flame. Nothing too crazy, especially if you save this guy for the end. I mean, yeah, he's got to be one of the undertuned bosses in this DLC, I would say. Uh, somewhere near, you know, Putrescence Knight level of difficulty. Um, yeah, especially if you leave him for the end, which, I don't know. I, I guess he's going to be a challenge if you start, you know, at the start of the DLC, kind of work your way up to the Shadow Keep, and then immediately find that illusory wall that eventually leads you down into the woods that leads over here then find him then he might be a challenge but if i would imagine for a lot of people near the end there he's you know he like i said very bullyable just kind of a lot of three hit 
swings, and if he hits you with the pierce, the third pierce will explode outwards, so you don't want to get hit by that. You don't want to stay in front of him as much as you possibly can, because that's where he does all of his fire. That can obviously build up and trigger madness. Uh, so try to stay on his sides and his back as much as you possibly can. He'll do, he'll do two little dagger attacks, which are like, you know, nothing, basically. And, uh, yeah, when he enters phase two, he'll kind of throw his head out. It'll explode, so obviously run as far away from that as you can. And um, he'll also, if you're next to him, sometimes throw the orb out. It'll explode. So you could roll it as we did in the fight. And I guess that's it. Oh, we didn't see one thing. So he will jump at you and land. If he hits you, it's really bad because uh, I think we've gotten hit by that once, maybe. But yeah, if he hits you, he'll kind of infect you with madness and all this crap. So really roll the jump land and then wait a tick and roll into the subsequent uh, explosion. Very easy. Don't freak out. Roll the first hit and then roll into the thorn explosion. That's about it. If you're having trouble with this guy, uh, definitely, like I said, equip some madness resistance stuff um, or fire resistance. I don't even know how it works. Is it fire? Or is it madness? It's probably fire. So yeah, try to try to equip some frenzied flame or you know fire resistant sort of thing. And that is Midra or Midra defeated. Hope this guide helped. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.